Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on Top 5 with Dr. Wakely. I'm your host, Dr. Wakely, and this is going to be a short series of videos in a top five format because I like top five lists. So these are the five most important things I think you need to know about vitamin D. Most people know that vitamin D helps with calcium absorption. It's really good for bone health. It's good for people with osteoporosis, but I'm not sure if you know the things I'm about to share with you. So stay tuned. Do not attempt anything you hear about without first discussing it with your doctor. Serious injury could occur or death may result. The suggestions made in this video are for informational purposes only and is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any illness or condition. Nothing in today's discussion is meant to serve as medical advice, nor is considered information to facilitate self-treatment. Okay, so number one on the top five things that you need to know about vitamin D is that vitamin D really isn't a vitamin, it's a hormone. A vitamin, when you look at the definition of a vitamin, a vitamin is something that's needed for growth and metabolism that's found in food or is synthetically derived, like supplement that you can buy over the counter, not something made by the human body. Vitamin D is made by the human body and vitamin D looks like a hormone. It looks like cholesterol. It behaves like a hormone. Number two on the top five things you need to know about vitamin D is that it's good for your mood. Helps with anxiety, depression, and a whole bunch of other neuropsychiatric things. There was a paper in 2015 written in the Czech Republic that found low vitamin D levels were correlated with higher rates of depression and anxiety. There was also another paper published on mood and vitamin D, one in the Journal of Adolescent Medicine and Health, looking at suicidal risk, suicidal tendencies, and vitamin D levels. And what they looked at was high suicide rates in the springtime when vitamin D levels were at their lowest. And the authors concluded that low vitamin D levels were a big factor in contributing to suicidal tendencies and suicidal risk. So if you're suffering with anxiety, depression, anything like that, and you haven't had your vitamin D levels checked, get them checked. That could be a really easy fix. Number three in the top five things that I want you to know about vitamin D is that vitamin D could help improve your fatigue. So if you're always tired or you feel like you don't have the zest that you used to, or you're tired when maybe you don't think you should be, you may wanna get your vitamin D levels looked at. And research supports it. The Evidiff study looked at 171 people reporting to a clinic with significant fatigue. 77% of those people had low vitamin D levels and 51% were taking vitamin D. So after they did the trial, they put them on some vitamin D, essentially every single patient reported significant improvement in their energy levels. So if your energy's low, if you're tired all the time, definitely look into it. Okay, the fourth thing I want you to know about vitamin D is that there is a wicked big correlation in the literature between low vitamin D and all sorts of different complex chronic illnesses. I'm talking about cancer, irritable bowel disease, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, psoriasis, high blood pressure, diabetes, PCOS, allergies. So if you have any of these, you should definitely be looking into this. This could be a simple and quick fix. I know I've said that before, but I, I really mean it. One study showed that people with adequate vitamin D levels actually had more apoptosis going on in their cellular environment. So what's apoptosis? Apoptosis is awesome. It means programmed cell death. So when cells are misbehaving, when they're not doing what they're supposed to do, you want programmed cell death. You want those cells to die. Because if not, they recruit more cells that start to misbehave, and then you end up with a condition like cancer. Another study showed that for every four points your vitamin D went up, and that's the American units, nanograms per milliliter. So for every four nanograms per milliliter, your vitamin D levels went up they showed a 5% drop in all-cause mortality. So for every four points your vitamin D goes up, you get a reduction of 5% in all-cause mortality. That seems like a pretty big deal. There have been a couple other studies that showed 
pretty significant reductions in high blood pressure and diabetes. So glucose levels went down and blood pressure stabilized a little bit. That's a really big deal because there's millions of people in this country alone that have high blood pressure and that have diabetes and have to be medicated for it. The question is, where's the plateau? Where do you get to a point where you start to see a stabilization of benefits and you don't need to take any more vitamin D? That's the study that they should be doing right now. Okay, number five on the top five things you need to know about vitamin D is that vitamin D can be really helpful at preventing bacterial or viral respiratory tract infections. Considering that we're in the middle of a pandemic with COVID-19, I think this is even more important to be talking about. Vitamin D is very cheap. It's easy to access and the toxicity profile, as long as you're not taking it with calcium, seems to be really low according to the research. One paper showed daily doses of vitamin D reduced the risk of a bacterial or viral respiratory tract infection by 19%. That's insane. That's insane. Just by taking vitamin D once a day, you get a 19% reduction in getting some sort of acute respiratory infection. That's a bet I'm willing to take. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for joining me for the top five things I think you should know about vitamin D. I appreciate everything you do, and I'll be back with another video just as soon as I can. Okay. I'm just reading over this here. <laughs> it's okay. You can edit it, right? Yeah, of course. I do require just green M&Ms in my trailer, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>